Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Monday Night Smite coming to you. My name's F. Dot. He's Adonis, and Luminosity is taking on Envy tonight. Uh, two uh, top tier North American squads going to be facing off. Luminosity, a, a very rough start in week one, dropping to mm -hmm. the now leading the pack enemy. Um, although, uh, Envy up there as well, finding themselves three and one after a pretty good start to uh, the SPL season three. Yeah, Envy has come in really swinging. They did drop one, but. Calm down. That was Mask's first time with Envy, so not a big deal. <laughs> but as, as far as Luminosity is concerned, uh, they really have to ramp it up. Uh, we saw uh, poor showing in game number one, but I think that was more snowball feeling than anything else. Game number two is really what I looked at to really place Luminosity, and I think despite the loss, they're at a good start. I think game one was Luminosity kind of collectively feeling what everyone in the world was feeling that enemy was not going to be a top tier team but you can right. see them sitting at the top five and one enemy is a real squad luminosity dropping those two games i, I really think they underestimated him going in uh and it's most notably getting first blooded on a botched invade and then immediately walking up to a zeus takes the second death of the game when he's level two it was I don't know if he was tilting or not, but he was not. In my opinion, he wasn't respecting enemy. Okay. He's going to respect envy, though. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, these two teams are players and squads that have, they're used to fighting. They're used to playing. They're used to competing. Everybody pretty much knows all of the tricks on each other's side. The difference is Snoopy in the solo lane. He's fresher. He's newer. So his bag of tricks might be smaller than the rest. But more importantly, it's the only secret card. Like, if he has any secret strategies, everybody else has been playing for years against each other. This is the first time Snoopy, on a high level, is going to be playing solo lane against the squad of Envy. Uh, yeah, the uh, mid laner coming out for Envy, MLC Stealth, going to be facing off against his old teammates uh, in Luminosity. And mm -hmm. MLC Stealth was the uh, one of a couple... So Funny enough, MLC was actually the only, uh, if you would say, victim of kind of the Cloud9 debacle where uh, the team really split up. Because Baskin, uh, he was invited back to the team. Uh, Anister wanted to play with him, but he left on his own. Mm -hmm. Jeff Hinla and Stealth were both kicked off, but Jeff Hinla got an invite back once Baskin chose to leave for another team. So they, they felt comfortable coming back with Jeff Hinla. Right. MLC Stealth was the only one who really didn't have an option back into this squad. So I think this is a pretty big game for him. I, I really think he wants to showcase to his old team that, you know, he is a top tier mid laner. He's oh, going to yeah. be going up against the guy who Anister wanted to play with instead of him, the Boosh. Exactly. And that's the key here is, is MLC South is sitting there. Well, I got booted, but I will take Envy any step of the way. And if we've and if we take a note from historically what happens when teams play against their ex teams, you know, there's something to prove there. Uh, MLC wants to say, yeah, you know, I made the right decision. I'm on the top team. You know, regardless of whether you've been on the world stage or not, uh, which most most of these players have, there is that feeling. It's like, mm -hmm. I want to prove myself. And sometimes that leads to either A, making big plays, sure. or B, making big mistakes. And I think that Stealth needs to be very careful in this game because he is someone who who will have those big plays, right? Yeah. Scylla, oh, SWC1, yeah. right? Dashes forward, finds a triple root. <laughs> Everyone remembers it, ripping through, you know, uh, Cloud9 or Cog Prime at the time win the SWC1. They win the first world championship. Right. But then there's other instances, more specifically, I think, when he's on Giannis, where he is uh, trying to be this backline player. He's actually diving into the backline, getting himself caught. Um, so Stealth, I think, has a very wide range of where he can play at. And I think he definitely needs to play at that, you know, world stage level here, going up against Luminosity, even though they did drop two games. Right. Right, and, and you talk about making a statement. That's exactly what I'm looking for, Luminosity. They dropped the first two games to Enemy, and that wasn't expected by pretty much anybody except for the six players on Enemy, pretty much. And as far as Luminosity is concerned, that's not how they want to start their season, quite obviously. They are a top team, despite what the standings might say right now. They definitely believe so. A lot of fans believe so at home. And this is the this is the game. It's going to be a tough battle. It's Envy, but this is the game. They like, Okay, you know, coming into the season, we made a mistake. We dropped two games, but that's not our identity. We need to show up, and, and, and we're going to do something. So I really expect them to pull out all the stops and play very well. Uh, there's a couple parallels here between Luminosity and Fnatic in the fact that they have two oh. new members coming in, but there's a little bit of a difference, right? Fnatic, they started off, they're, they're starting off two and four so far, but uh, they kind of, I don't want to say an excuse, that's a kind of a bad word, but it's more understandable no for Fnatic to drop those two games. Mm -hmm. It's two players who have never played in the SPL coming in. Luminosity, they brought in the Boosh and Snoopy. And they bought it. World, cl world class players who have been on that stage and the whole idea of teams need a second to get better to get acclimated to each other for synergy reasons or whatnot 
that's why the change was made. Snoopy was brought on because Andy plays with Snoopy more than he played with MLC, or at least that was the story. So the idea was, if we bring Boosh on, he's just as skilled as MLC, but we might have a better synergy. So that really is not quite there for the team to lean on either. Either way, uh, we're going to get into picks and bans here for our Monday Night Smite game. Two games coming up, and the first of which Envy will be the first pick on the left-hand side. Luminosity, uh, I'll be interested to see in what their focus is uh, in, in both their games against Enemy. We saw on her very early picked up, although on her still uh, touting a 0 for 8 record, I, I believe, in the SPL. Hasn't found a single win. Picks and bans coming out, though. Envy don't want to deal with that mid lane pressure. They're going to take away Boosh's uh, Isis. You know, I think the I, I think the on her stats sort of defy just how good he is. I think that ability based hunters do very very well uh, in this current meta, mainly mainly looking at the itemization. And I think that on her is one of those characters that also flourishes just from the way his passive works along. It allows you to flex around with some different items. So despite the lack of wins on on her, I definitely think he's a strong pick and. He's a great pick for Barra specifically. I wouldn't be surprised if Luminosity brings it back with that pick. I want to see a Kali band here from Luminosity. No, it's going to be Kepri. Uh, we've seen how powerful Envy has been in been when they get that Kali because it's not only going to the jungler. We saw Yannick played it phenomenally, but also Cyclone Spin uh, mm. could play it for Hunter, and that's one of those mm. picks that can be used as flex for Envy. But it looks instead like they're going to be locking in uh, this soul, so another flex pick could mm. go either to the dual lane or to the mid laner. Exactly. A lot of a lot of flexibility, as you said, as far as this first pick is concerned. Luminosity, they have the option now. We'll see where they elect to go. Do they follow up with a flex pick like a Neath, or do they go something a little bit more standard? So I, I, I kind of want to talk about Kali a little bit more. Okay. Um, Kali is very good. However, she does have an incredibly hard counter. While it's not the easiest thing to do in Sir Ket, mm -hmm. and I think both these junglers really love Sir Ket, both Anister and Mast, uh, one of their premier gods. Kali, I think, is more of a Mask god, so I think there's a little bit of, I want you to pick Kali into me, but no, it, instead it's going to be Thor uh, and Ho Yi locked in for Luminosity. Uh, I, I do like these picks. Thor obviously going to give a, a lot of global uh, presence, especially now that both Athena and Giannis, two of the other highest uh, potency Globals are down. Yep. So, and, and at, at the base level, forget how to be an, an analyst for a second. Andy has Thor. Thumbs up, right? Like at the base level, Andenser has a fantastic Thor. I mean, there's some there's some analysis in there. He's just really good on <laughs> Thor. <laughs> that's my, that's that's my point. Of course, it goes deeper, but like at the base level, I mean, Thor is just a very good character and works excellently against a dude like Zeus, who's going to be stuck in the mid lane, really needing that protection. So I'm a little bit worried here for Envy. Uh, Luminosity, I believe it, it, they should be really be looking for a support here, because not only um, you look over at Envy, right? They have right. the Soul, the Zeus, and a Bologna. Zeus uh, has no protection as of right now, and Luminosity are not only going to get the option to lock in this Bacchus, but they're going to be able to ban away two supports. Uh, most notably, Geb, I, I would imagine, yep. to be taken away, and then likely someone with heavy CC that they really want to take away from Kiki. They could look to, to ban out his, his uh, Sobek. He has had a phenomenal Sobek, but instead it's going to be the Odin. Which is interesting, considering that Luminosity has zero healing, and all three gods have a way to get out of the ring. So Odin is definitely obnoxious, but their composition, as it stands now, is less offended by the persistence of an Odin. I mean, honestly, Pain won, in my opinion, that game yeah. for enemy. Just his Odin plays were phenomenal. I think this is something that Luminosity simply doesn't want to deal with. Uh, and, I, and I do kind of like that option. Ryzen going to be banned out. We know how uh, powerful it has been. <laughs> While it hasn't found the wins, it has been topping the charts in damage. And instead, Luminosity, they're actually going to take out the Naja. We've kind of seen this Naja rise into prominence here in Season 3 where she, excuse me, he's a phenomenal setup god for these high burst mages. What's interesting about Naja is Naja is still, in my opinion, a, a flavor pick. It's something that you get your base characters down and then I'm very good at this. It just so happens at this point in time that all of our prominent junglers also happen to be able to bring a Naja out of the battlefield. So it's it's very interesting the way the meta is not dictated just simply by the numbers and the stats in the game, but also by the players that are playing it. Second round of uh, picks here. It was a, a Kronos band out, so Envy. They're, they're going to be targeting Luminosity's uh, mid laner's god pool. You can see three mages banned out. Uh, we could see... Mm -hmm. Boosh go to uh, his god now, and it is going to be the Poseidon. So um, a lot of early kill potential coming out from this Thor Poseidon. Well, well, maybe not until level five, really, mm -hmm. when the, the full combo shines. 
very strong against Zeus, most notably, who doesn't really have any movement ability to get out of that Kraken. And not for nothing, Poseidon, as Kali is picked for Team Envy, uh, Poseidon is also a spectacular uh, god when it comes to early game wave clear. So obviously your mind always goes to the Isis when you want to think of early game wave clear, but that Whirlpool title surge combination really does the job to to put pressure in that mid lane, which have we have we as we've noted many times this season, it's an important thing to have on your team. Gonna be last picked. Uh, obviously, the, I, I think this is just the best pick uh, yes. left outside of maybe going a Sobek, but you kind of have to worry considering there's a Poseidon on the board. Uh, Geb entirely gonna be peeling for Zeus. Uh, Soul gonna Soul and, and Kali in this in this lineup are basically going to be having to position themselves properly because Geb can't protect everyone, and I think Zeus is going to be the mainstay. Zeus has no options yep. to get out. Kali has a jump. She'll more than likely have Blink as well. Soul has uh, her corporeal form to get her out of a lot of things, and it's going to be Amaterasu uh, picked up for Snoopy in this last pick. Characters, yeah, characters like Zeus and Kali, I definitely enjoy having Geb or Aphrodite when she's better. Um, <laughs> just somebody to hold the hands of the easily killed characters is very nice. And the Amaterasu, as you said for Snoopy, this is, uh, this is a fun pick. I think Amaterasu brings a decent amount to a team, and more importantly, it's a new god on a new solo later, and I'm eager to see what uh, Snoopy can really bring to the table with that character. Uh, early grouping from both teams here. You see five members of Luminosity. Jeff could look for his jump here, but Envy, uh, think better of uh, even trying to get closer. They're going to back off. Kiki, though, trying to get his ward down. Barracoot is not going to let him do it for free. Gets uh, the first auto. Uh, that means Luminosity wins. First <laughs> auto is auto victory. That's that's, that's, that's the how old, the SPL works. That's the old superstition. The first basic attack wins. So Luminosity. Can we see player damage real quick, please? Top in the charts, we got Barracuda <laughs> coming in at a hot 50 damage. Wow. Watch out. That Ho Yi is off to a tear. Look at him. He's infinitely, he has infinitely more damage than anyone else. On I mean, his he's team. got, that's, that's the, or the, the transcendent start, Kevin, it allows you to. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> uh, end of game here. Um, Geb electing to go Shell very uh, early on. MLC Stealth also Love it. Um, picking up this uh, Sanctuary. Something to take note of here because uh, while he will be able to immune the Kraken, he's going to be uh, in a lot of trouble if he gets caught in an early stun mm -hmm. or Whirl Whirlpool coming out from the boost. There's a lot of kill potential uh, in this Thor. Yeah, I, I do like the Sanctuary choice, though, honestly. Um, it just it just shows me the Sanctuary, the Shell, and we know just how fragile that their their lineup is right now. And uh, that's something that we've seen out of Zeus's is that it gets picked and sort of forgotten how easily killed Zeus is. This shows me that MLC is very well aware how fragile he is on the Zeus, so I like it. I talked about it earlier. Uh, one thing about MLC is that he uh, his positioning sometimes can be the bane of him, but a nice... Uh, Little lightning chain there, and MLC Stealth actually going to gain full control of this mid lane pressure, and his team's going to be able to grab these left harpies uh, uncontested. One of the recent changes to Zeus, uh, really, it's, he doesn't knock back the minions anymore, so he can clear the wave with one ability, which definitely really helps uh, the Zeus when it comes down to his efficiency in the mid lane, especially going against uh, the Poseidon, which, as I mentioned, has very good clear. But as we shift over to the dual lane, you want to talk about clear. Uh, Soul, one of the best of them. Going to be matching up uh, against a, a Bacchus Hoi, though. And more importantly, it's the fact that there's a Geb <laughs> on Kiki, mm -hmm. which means basically no wave clear at all. Geb uh, has a really bad time in lane, similar to Rom, where he has to kind of sit in those melees, knock up the creeps, and there's a, a decent animation time there. So he's yeah. kind of locked in place, and he can take a lot of poke. It's really not worth it. Uh, we see Omega, though, continuing... Uh, to put the pressure onto Snoopy, was able to push him under tower, then uh, looked at attempting to try and steal the boars, but can't kill it fast enough before the wave gets there, so he'll turn his attention back to the wave. I, li I like that play a lot, and that's uh, Kevin we, Kevin and I were talking before the broadcast, and expect to see a lot of these little combat tricks coming out from Omega, because um, Snoopy, obviously, an accomplished player in his own right, but as far as the solo lane, is very fresh. So Omega will likely respect the ability to fight that Snoopy has. But when it comes down to these little individual solo lane tricks like what just happened, I expect to see Omega pulling everything out. So I like what uh, Omega is starting to do here as we take a look at the, the left-hand side lane instead. And just a little bit of poke, uh, no ganks just yet. Um, Omega actually is willing to take poke from the archers to trade poke on a Snoopy, and that's because Snoopy doesn't really have a way to heal back up as efficiently. He's gone into the bluestone pendant. Uh, Omega has his bludgeon in addition to death toll, which means he's going to get a triple proc on the minions, be able to heal up a lot more off of that. Also has a scourge as well. So any trade he takes, even if he takes more damage, he's going to be healing back. Right. You can already see just looking at the potions, uh, Omega is up a single health potion. Uh, so a slight victory for him, but every victory 
is important in the solo lane. And that's what we saw over there uh, er, a couple of minutes ago when Omega pushed up the lane and went towards the Snoopy's boar. That wasn't, it wasn't the fact that he didn't have the damage to kill it. He was just healing with the Scourge. He wanted to step out of lane, heal up a little bit, so that when he comes back in the lane, all of a sudden, it's a much different story as far as the life totals are concerned. So a uh, lot of small little details. That, he that he was also baiting like Snoopy, right? Exactly. More, like, yes. I, don't, I don't think he's like massively healing off that, but he's definitely baiting Snoopy to pull him away from the wave. Maybe mm -hmm. he misses experience, or he can just out-trade him in the jungle because Bologna is going to have full control of this lane early on. Omega's going to head back for the first time, right in front of Snoopy's face, so Snoopy will... Do the same and back. And I like that play. Omega assumes that Snoopy's going to back as well, or maybe he saw him because of the creeps. And so he doesn't have to burn that teleport so early. Both solo laners will take the long way back and head back by foot. Uh, also, his team was starting up blue, so he's going to be able to get to that blue, share a little bit of experience, and still make it to lane, while Snoopy, in the meantime, has to solo his blue. Uh, Left-hand side, though, we actually see a rotation and, a, and an invade coming out from Luminosity. Looking at that red buff, you see Annenster already on top of it, the Whirlpool over the wall. And I like this positioning from, Zo or from Boosh. He actually yep. throws the Whirlpool over the wall and then makes sure not to sit in that pit because he doesn't really have a lot of peel for himself there. Um, and also, he works as a, as a human ward. He sits on the other side, so if the enemy comes through from the mid lane, Boosh is able to ra ring the alarm and say, hey, they're coming oh, in. Look at this. And Andy's going to go right on up, look towards mid lane. He's looking for someone. He sees both players. He's going to look for Mask, comes landing down, finds the stun, but a quick beats from Mask, and he jumps over the wall, not wanting to fight early. Uh, I think a smart decision for oh, yeah. a, a Kali, specifically <laughs> one that doesn't have Sanctuary up against a Poseidon nearby as well. Yeah, Kali against an early game Thor with a Kraken in the wings. Yeah, I'm not taking that anytime soon. That's a 160 second cooldown on that purification, though. Uh, and I imagine we're going to see another gank tip on Mask, and I like this decision from Luminosity. That was a full on, we, we don't necessarily need to fight them. If sure. it's there, we'll take it, but you see the ult comes out. The second the beads go, Andy Stir immediately turns around. This was simply burning purification, and now I would really like to see Luminosity continue to do this. Find purification on it, as many members as they can, and then in the next 10, 15, 30 seconds, at the very least before that 160 second mark, mm -hmm. gank them again. Envy, though, like you said, Luminosity's goal is to make the team get rid of their relics as quickly as possible, and with that in mind, Envy completely know that that's Luminosity's game plan. They bought they bought the Aegis, the Sanctuary early, excuse me, on the Zeus, and you can even see this secondary build that we see from Mages. Zeus, uh, MLC, is building into the defensive helm. So, on the other side, Luminosity, well, Boosh, well aware, he's just gonna buy a Doom Orb, he wants to crank it out. Uh, Zeus, very aware, Envy, very aware that Luminosity is looking to blow them up as quickly as possible. Dynasty help, uh, helm plate, very important for Mages now. Uh, it's you can just see there, uh, MLC Stealth taking a, a double tap, but that extra physical protection gonna mm -hmm. reduce a, a significant amount of that damage, and I think that's very important for these mages who don't have a lot of mobility, and especially against high burst compositions like Luminosity. They have both the Intoxicate, they have Suns coming out from Barracuda, they also have the Crack, and there's a lot of options uh, to kill this Zeus. And speaking of killing this Zeus, you can already see the team setting up for it. I like that the ward comes out in the mid lane from Luminosity. Envy saw it though, so they're they're aware. But they they threw the ward over the wall, which was really interesting. If nobody was in lane, they wouldn't have been able to, to catch that. I think that's just a fun little thing that the Luminosity does put the put the ward in lane over the wall instead of actually walking into lane. Uh group up, uh, very early group up coming up from Luminosity. You can see they're in position for the Gold Theory, but they're not actually doing it. They're actually trying to bait the team in. There's no wards on the side of Envy, but it doesn't seem like they're going to take the bait at all. Yeah, they're just doing the dance right now, trying to avoid as much damage as possible. Luminosity understand that Envy are well aware of what's going on, and not only are they aware, they're going to make sure that uh, Luminosity doesn't have the vision. To that that to well. me looks like scrim partners. I don't know if yep. these teams are scrimming, but I, I mean... Almost everyone in that situation is going to check the Gold Fury, or at least walk over and see this was a clear bait from Luminosity, Kiki's but Kiki's caught in a out. bad spot. Yeah, he's going to get hit by the Kraken, knocked up three or four times. He's still alive, but he's very low, and Mask able to turn it around, take out Jeff Hinla on the backside. Answer. MLC Stealth looking for a target, but Mask by himself, dodging the answer ultimate. Mask, such a heads-up play. Uh, really nice turnaround coming out from Envy there. You can see Luminosity full committing, but uh, the Zeus ultimate immediately channeled on top of Kiki, and that was kind of a, a stay away from me yeah. thing. Because the thing is, even if the team had full committed, they, they almost would have been guaranteed to kill Kiki in that situation. Oh, yeah. uh, probably first blood, but they ran a very high risk of getting multiple stacks off before that detonate on them, and then it probably would have turned around in Envy's favor in a very meaningful way, right? Not, not even just turn around in their favor in that they get a kill. Potential three kills there for Envy. 
So honestly, kind of sacking Jeff, I think mm -hmm. probably the best option, uh, but a very hard decision to make. Yeah, exactly. Luminosity, the aggressors, but lose that one. Snoopy now He's taking the now. fight onto Omega. Both of these players do have heals, but We'll see how it works out. Interesting build coming out specifically from the side of Envy. Uh, Omega has built the boots and then did not elect to finish his breastplate, went directly into some attack speed. So what I'm assuming that is, is the fact that he just had enough gold to finish that tier one, uh, knows that he wants to go into wing blade no matter what, figures that he'll get 1,350 gold before he backs to finish off breastplate. Might as well just get this extra attack speed. There's there's no reason not to right now, so it's just kind of efficient. Uh, it's going to help him clear a wave just, just a slight little bit. It's just kind of a power boost that he can get because he knows he's not going to back until he has enough, enough gold to finish breastplate anyway. Yeah, Bologna scales decently off of the attack speed anyway with the... I lied. He backed before finishing breastplate. With the cleave from Bludgeon. Um, so attack speed definitely helping him out in a little bit. Oh, he actually backed to finish off Meditation because he hit level 12. He actually backed because he wanted to get a second yep. Relic just in case he has to teleport over to that Gold Fury. Actually, uh, really like the decision coming out from Omega. It looks like he'll miss uh, nothing. He's going to be able to catch that wave before it enters Tower. So, And those are the... Sm th that's exactly what I was talking about earlier, Kevin. Those are the small solo lane tactics that Omega is able to bring in here from being a multi-time, multiple world champion, just always rocking it. And Snoopy, well, accomplished in his own right, very fresh and wet behind the ears as far as solo lane is concerned specifically. Snoopy does have his meditation and teleport up. You can see he's finished his breastplate though. And Omega actually just gonna bother him on the right hand side. Left side though, a lot of uh, grouping up from these teams. We've seen uh, a lot of aggressive positioning, trying to force something, trying to get ganks, but you could see Envy on the back foot most of the time, which is to be expected. Yep. on their comp, and I, and I really think their positioning has been phenomenal so far, making sure not to step out of line too much. Uh, they really just want this Zeus and Kali and, and Soul to get to late game, because the later this game goes, the more damage they output. But they do oh, have yeah. to be worried, because Luminosity, I mean, you look across the board, there's so much CC and control on their squad that even though Envy have the damage, they could just die because they have three really hard carries mm -hmm. and only one front line. Well, one, one peeling back line, excuse me. Right, and that that will be a problem. That will pose a problem later on, as you can see. Envy, is anytime you select a Bacchus, you're looking for a quick burst situation, and obviously Poseidon fits very well into that into that storyline. So if Envy are able, or if Envy get controlled uh, in the front of the back line, Luminosity can find a target, the one guy that's not controlled, because. Like you said, Geb can't look at all five players. So it's up to Luminosity to find their targets right. They're going to find one in the mid lane. Very low is MLC. A couple more hits and he'll die. But pop, proper body blocking comes oh, wow. out from his teammates. Snoopy. He'll survive for the moment. But Snoopy makes the dive, gets the kill on MLC. Andy lands up in the backside. And Boosh is able to take out Mask. Just barely Mask. No ultimate left available. Uh, Anansir puts the poke out, and Boosh finishes him off. Cyclone's going to try and defend his red buff here on the left-hand side, but there's four members surrounding him. He's actually almost as good as dead if he's not careful there. He will get knocked up. Very good looking for the big stun. He finds it, but what doesn't want to chase too deep? That timing. Very good is the, the man. That was excellent. I mean, Cyclone Spin was immune when Barra pulled the trigger. When he fired that ability... Cyclone Spin was immune. He knew the travel time of Ricochet and how long it would take Soul to get out of that corporeal form and able to land it. That's that's just so impressive to me. Uh, Envy, though, they're going to lose uh, a couple. They're going to lose uh, two members there as well as their red buff. A uh, 500 gold lead in favor of Luminosity, even though they did give up first blood. So fighting back for the most part, the team... Uh, Really looking forward to this mid game and, and Gold Fury likely to be the next point of contention here. We're 11 and a half minutes in. You would expect before 15 minutes we'll see some team try and force something. Uh, more than likely a gank onto the Zeus. I think that's going to be the key here for Luminosity. If they want to get Gold Fury, mm -hmm. they need to kill the Zeus yeah. before the fight happens. Yeah, Zeus just has so much objective control. And as we visit the solo lane again, very important kill for Snoopy coming out there in the mid lane, by the way. Uh, that kill put him a little bit ahead of Omega by a, I mean, now, now they're even. So Omega picks up the, the uh, elementals, but it, it put him even with Omega. It allowed him to shorten up the gap between the two players, and he has about half a lead, uh, half a level lead as far as experience is concerned as well because of that kill. So very, very important rotation coming out from Snoopy there. Uh, now 
Uh, looks like uh, Mass going to get back to farming. One zero one. He's level eleven to Aninster's uh, twelve, and what's now become staple for Aninster, going that teleport. Mm -hmm. We see him use it for multiple purposes. Not only starting a fight, uh, getting out, and then teleporting back into it, so he's basically got two life bars, but also just to farm efficiently. After his deaths, he'll actually immediately teleport back to towers. This allows him to farm uh, quicker and faster across the map, getting him ahead or catching him back up when he gets behind. It, it, it just allows him to really push what, what Thor does specifically. You know, Thor being semi-global with the teleport, he's well, still quasi semi global, but it just increases his ability to be everywhere on the map. And more importantly, Kevin, a lot of times decisions come out based on where the jungler is located. We talk about how important that mid lane ward is. Well, with the teleport, the jungler can quite literally be anywhere, whenever. So, adds a little bit of ambigu ambiguity to the information that the enemy obtains. Uh, look at these support builds, though. Um, honestly, this is telling me that these teams have been scrimming pretty often, uh, both going into the Traveler Shoes, immediately into that Spirits Robe. And Traveler Shoes has been on the rise in the, in the past week mm -hmm. or two. Uh, I, I spoke to Aurora about it, and basically, it's just the mobility. Uh, the, the bonus movement speed allows you to get to lanes faster, allows you to, to rotate to help your team faster. Um, even, even catch up in lane when trying right. to, to chase people for gank attempts. Uh, also, the HP5 varying helpful when you're out of combat, gonna keep you fresh. Uh, the Spirits Robe is something new for me though, going straight into the Spirits Robe, because you don't really have a health base. Now, I think it's fine for both these, mm -hmm. simply because of the options they have. Geb has a shield as well as the shell online for a relic. Uh, Jeff Henlow has a jump, so he has a little bit more mobility compared to most supports, as well as meditation to get him out right. of trouble. But something that is worrying, these supports don't have a lot of health and, and could get focused down, especially coming out from these mid laners, right? Stealth, while he's building in a breastplate now, still has 25 just flat pin. Mm -hmm. Boosh as well. Doom War fully stacked. That's 140 magical power just on that item. They can burst these supports. Well, that's... I, I do enjoy, I do like the choice from Kiki to go Spirit's Robe uh, because it's a very obvious stun burst combo coming out on the side of Luminosity. They're gonna they're gonna stun or knock up Kiki at some point and then try to crack at him, right? They're gonna Thor stun somebody and then all in. And so that Spirit Robe works perfectly against burst compositions like that. Uh, on the side of Luminosity, they're gonna go right for the Gold Fury we'll see a lot of damage coming out. The ultimates are available, so Boosh will be able to just crack in this if need wow. be, but absolutely not. Tons of damage coming out from Luminosity in 1445. They're able to take the Gold Fury out in, what, under five seconds. Uh, Envy uh, caught asleep there. 1800 gold lead for Luminosity. Um, That's big. That's really big. Yeah, 15 minutes in. It's not It's not a detriment, but it is a nice look for Luminosity and the fact that they haven't really been able to gain anything, right? They have that Thor. They have a lot of pressure, but the problem is uh, after they got first blooded, it's been much slower. We've seen Anister look into the jungle, try and force as much as he has, but Luminosity playing a very um, mid-game team composition, it seems. That's what they're looking for. They're, they're trying to get to this mid lane. Uh, look at this, though. It and V, their, their mid lane are stealth right now, level 12. This is one of the biggest problems with Zeus. Is that you have to you have to play scared, yep. and you can see Spoosh already with a two level lead over him. He should hit thirteen here, but still Thousand the experience well. in favor of the Boosh because Stealth he can't leave past. The, you see this where he's standing right now. Without the rest of his team, he can't go past that mark yep. because he always has the threat of Thor that could be lurking and could immediately get bursted. Yeah, and and that you know even looking at the gold, like I said, he's a thousand gold down because of all these minions that are able to walk onto his tower. Not because Zeus doesn't have the clear by level twelve, he certainly has the clear. I mean, look, look at that, the wave's gone. But without his friends, he can't leave his tower. He's just too vulnerable, especially Kevin with the threat of a Thor. That's the real killer. Is that you don't know when it's going to come. Uh, Fatalis picked up for Bushu. He's going to be a little bit more speedy, and we've seen a couple players <laughs> like this. Uh, Herwind as well likes the Fatalis. Uh, honestly, the, the Trident does a lot of damage, yeah. and being able to secure those and confirm more of the hits uh, can be pretty powerful. Luminosity, they're going to be uh, looking here into the jungle, trying to poke anyone out. And it's their level 14. He's going to continue to do this. Just walk into lanes, hammer someone, just try and poke as much as he can. It's, it's kind of one of the mainstays of top tier junglers is that you want to poke as much as you can. It's Delph. He's in an awkward spot. He's able to get a shield though. Yeah, the, the, I like I like the hate I like the hasted fatalis here, but I only like it because there's a Doom Orb now. Um, previously, you know, Fatalis on Poseidon has always been something fun. But it never really was worth it because Poseidon obviously is a burst mage and you need power on power on power. But with the addition of Doom Orb, now players can go those we're seeing more Polynomicons, we're seeing more Fatalises, we're seeing more of these uh, alternative items because you have that large power source very early on. So it opens up the way 
to alternative items. Uh, right hand side, Omega and Snoopy battling it out over Snoopy's blue here. You're gonna see a rotation coming in from Jeff Hinla, making sure or, or trying to secure this away from him. Omega won't care. Can we about actually go to Omega? He's trying to steal the blue. Uh, all right, he's gonna leech it to Jeff Hinla, who actually doesn't reset it, but no one's near him. He should just reset this. He's just giving Omega a, a better chance to steal well, it, and now the rotation comes in. From well, Snoopy. He's also giving his teammates time to show up. Snoopy rotates there through the go. solo lane. Andy comes out of base. And Omega willing to take the 1v1. Omega, pro Omega probably willing to take the 1v2, honestly. But the 1v3, a little much. So he finds himself back in lane. Level 18 on him. But don't be excited about that. Level 19 on Snoopy. No, almost has his tier 1 tower down, though. You can see it sitting at 1 health. Omega going to rotate, pick up his own blue. But Anister going to be here. Spill a little bit of experience with Snoopy, who does have that uh, slight level lead. Big Sun coming out from Andy right there, protecting his solo laner. Ah, Snoopy's fine. He's not backing, though. He's just trying to back. Here's the difference. <laughs> Omega's like, no, you're not going to back for free. Omega could honestly just walk in and tap this tower, and I think that's exactly what he's going to do. Yep. He's going to walk in. Come on and hit me, says the tower. And Bologna gets right to it. First tower down for Envy. So Omega walks right on in. Mid lane, a uh, pretty big grouping here coming out. Omega's going to back. He does have teleport available, so uh, if he wanted to help defend this tower, it was a possibility, but ultimately just a tier one tower. One for one as far as the structures are concerned. 500 gold in everybody's bank. Gold Fury going to be spawning here in about 45 seconds, so uh, likely to not see Envy give it up this time, Ooh. but they do need to be careful. Um, it's been Luminosity who have had the pressure and kind of the momentum all game, uh, and Anster has continued to poke people out, uh, unless the Zeus can really get a nice... Uh, Aegis Shield and in, in, into uh, Chain Lightning, which we've seen a couple times. Which, as you said, Luminasi has really had the control of the game, which Envy has a very late game composition. The build path that Kali has chosen, Cyclone Spin gets dunked on and purifies though. himself out. But, well, here's the rest of Luminosity. Jeff takes the backside through, walks through a tower. Cyclone Spin Kali. looks like he wants to get aggressive, and Mask certainly does. Jumps right on in with the blink. Finds a stun, but unable to really capitalize with the damage. But it's enough to push Luminosity off of the tower in the left lane. They and also, I think that was the goal. So they also burn, so they actually get a lot off that. Not only do they get the purification coming out from Soul, but they also get the blink coming out from Mast, and also the teleport coming out from Omega. And Omega realizes this. He can't go back to his lane with his teleport down. And Envy, if they're not forcing this, they're baiting it. Mm-hmm. Envy, they have, and what I was mentioning about the Kali build, she's not definitely not built early with those Ikavals or, or Red Pot. She has Chins and Fatalis, so early on, not a thing. But now, quite a different story. Omega's going to start the party. Crack it already down, and Omega takes out Foosh immediately. Kali trying to find a way out before she finds a way back on in. And now the damage from Omega again coming out onto the back line. Envy has the numbers. And they're going to look towards the gold. Uh, Sun's tickling Envy there. You can see both the meditation and the uh, the shell popped coming out from Kiki. But it doesn't look like Envy are going to be able to get this for free. Gold Fury at half. But the rest of Luminosity, they're not going to give it up. Jeff Finla going to stun out Omega. And now he's going to be silent. Zanitz are coming down from the side. Going to wall off Mast. There's the jump in from Jeff Finla. Mast forced to pop his ultimate. He's going to chase Zanitz. But honestly, he doesn't have the health. He's going to have to jump away. And now all of Envy, they're on full retreat. Snoopy leading the charge. Not going to find anything, but Luminosity, more importantly, looking towards the objective that they definitely can easily take. First tier or tier one tower in the left lane being aggressed Jeff. on, but good clear sends everybody packing. Jeff, uh, very close to dying there. Took a couple tower shots as uh, well, I think, of uh, as, as well as a stellar burst to the face. And it's going to be a pick for Envy, but no team able to secure the gold tier. You can see... A lot of Luminosity taking trip back to base there, but Boosh, Boosh is healthy after dying, and uh, he's going to be hanging around here, and it doesn't look like Envy want to start up the Gold Fury either. No. Im important teleport coming out from Anninster to dissuade their opponents from taking gold. Mid lane here. Uh, it looks like both teams are going to see the Gold Fury for now. Uh, I, I thought they might try and fight over it again, but I think after that engagement, Especially with all the relics down, no one really wants to take the risk. Uh, you, you take a look at the right side, the only two up are the purification coming out from Barracuda, as well as the teleport coming out from Snoopy, which is essentially useless unless he wants to go tap that tower on the right-hand lane. Right. Kiki gets poked out just a little bit, but Spirit Robe will help out the damage. Cyclone Spin now alone as he gets surrounded by Luminosity. They all get sent underneath his 
tower real quick. Luminosity very heavy on the left-hand side of this map. Everybody but Snoopy over here on gold side. I mean, this tower is one hit, and that's just yeah. what they're looking for. And honestly, Snoopy could get this tower on the right-hand side. And I think he's going to get one, and it's going to take to the sky, just trying to get out. Uh, and Envy, they have an opportunity here to force this Gold Fury. They know Anister's out, they know his teleport's down, and they know Snoopy's on the right-hand side. And even if he teleports in, it's going to take a couple seconds. There's a Bacchus here. Bacchus very good when it comes to sealing objectives. Jeff, that's pretty much where he made his name early on in his smite career with sealing objectives. Whirlpool's pulls down, so that's an important thing as it Snoopy. has Cripple on it. Snoopy in the back line, but it doesn't matter. Omega chasing out boost. Jeff trying to peel for him, and Omega going to think better of uh, forcing anything. Backs off. Barracuda by Mask. himself. Mask is going to play it safe. Jump back with the team as Gold Fury aggressed on again. 75% on the objective and falling quickly. Jeff Endless here does have Intoxicate available, so definitely apt to steal it. Meanwhile, Snoopy finds his way on the backhand side. Stun out from Kiki. This is going to be the fight. Ultimate out from Snoopy as well as he finds himself low. Sanctuary already burned from Emily Stealth. He catches the Geb Shield. Snoopy, 25. Jeff Hinla very low as well. Mass trying to read the jump. Can't find it. And he jumps a little bit too far. Gets crackened in the brain. But able to get safely. Just kidding. Ultimate ends. Snoopy smokes him. Snoopy trying to get away. Movement speed aura is going to be strong. And it's her hero. He will have a wall in case he wants to. And honestly, uh, over the wall, a nice title surge coming out from the Boosh. Finds Cyclone Spin, pokes him, and He wants to fight, though. He's oh, going to yeah. take to the sky. He's looking for stealth. No purification needed. And the oh, the shield was down as well. Anister finds that hit. It's going to be a turnaround from Luminosity. They take out Kiki. And now it's just two members remaining. Omega, he's going to try and find the ult, but he misses. Where's Kali? We see her mark, but she's nowhere to be seen. She's dead. Omega versus the world. He picks up one, but Snoopy able to answer back. 3-0 and 2 for the newly found Solo later, as Snoopy really drives that fight. Uh, 3,700 gold lead off of that fight in a couple towers in the past few minutes. And Luminosity, they're going to have this gold tier young contestant on that Cyclone Spin can make the big play. You can see him. He's trying to find his way inside. Gold Fury, it's not low enough. Cyclone Spin, uh, he has a stellar burst, and Luminosity need to be careful, but instead they're actually just going to turn their attention right to him. Barracuda finds him, and now the Gold Fury will go the way of Luminosity. 24 and a half on the clock, and Luminosity lead 7 to 4. And with that Gold Fury, they're leading pretty well in the gold category as well. 6K for the boys from Luminosity. And the absolute major thing there, Kevin, was how well Snoopy played that team fight. I am so impressed from the new solo lane. Uh, I mean, just kind of Amaterasu things in the back line. You saw him switching stances, a lot of movement speed, and just bullying MLC Stealth. You saw that's that was his main target, right? And even yep. though he wasn't able to secure him, he baited the Geb Shield early, he got his Sanctuary and his Purification all alone, and then Anister, uh, his ultimate was already up. He had uh, he had used it actually to get out of that fight at the beginning, was mm -hmm. picked off by Omega. It's going to be up at the end of that fight, and he's able to lock down Stealth, who had, had nothing. That's right. the problem with Zeus, is if you can bait his relics, and if the Geb Shield's down, mm -hmm. what is Zeus going to do but die? And that's all that happens, right? Unless Zeus can immediately turn around and burst his target, or burst the guy who's diving him, he's just going to fall over. And that's exactly what we saw. Anister picks him up. And honestly, Envy, they kind of just got split in that engagement, especially towards the end. Everything was going well for them at the start, and then uh, they just couldn't lock down Snoopy, who was just bullying four players. Exactly. At first, it was by design. Omega sets him, separates himself from the group to go ahead and find the back line, which should force the rest of Luminosity to come and collapse on their team and deal with Omega. But instead, Luminosity just says, okay, and they let Snoopy keep on keeping on on the backside. Zeus has his relics up. Kraken won't hurt this time. And the suns are burned as well, so MSC Stealth finds himself without any I don't know relics. if that's tilt or not, but Stealth just full commits to Anister, who's two levels above him. Uh, he's also gone Dynasty Plate Helm, which I like as an early game power spike, but right. it doesn't have the backing of Doom Orb. He also has Breastplate. He mm -hmm. simply doesn't have the magical power to kill a Thor in any hope there. There is literally zero hope for him to kill the Thor there. He full commits, and if his team was around, maybe. Mm -hmm. But his team was nowhere to be seen. They were all... It back in their own jungle. That was a very awkward play from Stealth. He also is forced to use both his relics, and he's going to be open to dying for the next two minutes. Yeah, like you said, a Zeus without relics is usually a Zeus without life, so we'll see how how long this next engagement takes to happen. And if I'm Luminosity, I'm forcing it soon. I'm killing Zeus. Yep. I'm baiting this Geb Shield, and I'm having Anister dunk on top of him. Anister didn't even use his all. He was just kind of walking. Yep. He throws out a hammer. 
That's really all it was. Uh, Left-hand side, we can see uh, Luminosity crew grouping up, uh, more than likely looking for a tower or, or looking to catch someone rotating through the jungle. You can see Bacchus and Thor, most notably. Boosh as well. Yeah, they're setting up. They're trying to find anyone brave enough to walk through this jungle. And, Cyclone. And Kiki, honestly, he's, he's just standing there. He sees them, but he's too scared. Instead of taking the safe path underneath, and uh, that tower going to take uh, about a third of its life off of... Honestly, the indecis indecisiveness of Envy. And now Envy forced to make a decision as Luminosity groups up by the mid lane. Looks like there will be a little bit of defense here. Thor Kiki. in the lane, so nothing surprising as far as that ultimate is concerned. And ultimate for Boosh back up from the last time they aggressed on Zeus, however. Uh, I like, Zeus relics not. I like both that blink from Kiki and kind of... His intelligence to hold his ultimate. Luminosity immediately recognized that Kiki was trying to force something. They back off, and then even if Kiki ults there, he's not really in the best position. The the team isn't in the best position to follow up. Right. So he holds his ultimate. Uh, left hand side though, red gonna be stolen away. Mask gonna watch it happen, and then Barracuda just gonna continue to poke this tower. He's not. I like the decision not to full commit. They're just getting whatever they can for free. And now that it's so low, Luminosity free, uncontested tower. Also by staying there, they force they force Cyclone Spin to not be a part of any engagement that they might have taken in the jungle or in the mid lane because Barracuda's sitting there. If you leave, I'm taking your tower, and you don't want to lose this just yet. And he slowly whittles it down, eventually does take the structure. Uh, this. Oh. Zeus oh. bounced. Relic already used. Does have protect, uh, protect purification left, but it's going to be an early demise. Jeff Hinlow's support. Picks up the kill on the mid laner. Mass tries to help out. He's as good as dead. Can't find the kill. But this time around, he's going to turn it around. Takes out Andy. Thanks to Kiki's Geb Shield. And uh, Mask on the Kali. Critical Mass. And Inster completely underestimating Mask there, who had execution or finished, I believe, mm. now starting up Titan's Bane. It's going to be a one for one. And what looked like a free fight for Luminosity. And Inster going a little bit too deep. And, and like you said, Kiki with a phenomenal Geb Shield yeah. there at the end. That's what that's what turned that fight was because mask turning Kali turning on the opponent is not a surprise. And instead took that fight anticipating that okay Kali's going to turn on me. I'm going to take a lot of damage, but I can kill him. And then Geb Shield pops over from the wall, and Andy goes, "Huh, <laughs> I didn't expect that extra life to happen." So uh, my calculations don't work out. Envy try and capitalize. Look for the Gold Fury. I like this decision, but need to be a little bit careful. They're going to get distracted by Barracuda, who's actually going to do a lot of damage to Omega. Suns are dropped, and he's actually fighting inside. He actually popped his own shell. He'll dash away. Maybe baited Envy enough as the rest of the team trying to fight into this. And uh, yeah, Masked caught with no ult after that last engagement. Snoopy's going to pick him off. Snoopy playing so much better than the last time we saw. I mean, going back, Luminosity 0-2, despite how successful they're being in this game. The first game, as you said, was kind of just a botched invade. The second game, honestly, I think a lot of people could have looked at Snoopy and, and say, like, if this team wants to succeed, he's got to step it up. He heard everyone because he has stepped up completely in this game. Killing Mask gives his team just enough room to open themselves up for another gold curry. And... It's not all Snoopy, but he's a huge part of it. 10,000 gold in the lead for Luminosity. And uh, Envy, they're going to have some trouble here, but they do have Akali, and that's there's a couple gods in the game that even if you're behind, you, yeah. you kind of have this, we have this god, right? We could still fight back into it. Scylla uh, coming out for mages, and most notably Kali for assassins. Kali, if she could find her target in a fight, uh, almost guaranteed to make an impact and, and swing it. I believe, uh, so that means the last person to kill him, though, was Snoopy. So mm -hmm. we'll have to take a look at Snoopy in this le next engagement and kind of how he positions himself against Mask. Because Mask, while he could probably all in the bush, it's... It's pretty hard. Yeah, and, and Snoopy aware that he's the target now. Can we uh, mouse over Snoopy's last item over there? You can take a look. It's a shield. And basically, Runic Shield is going to be very important now. The magical power, sure, it's going to work. And that'll be targeted more at Soul. But attack speed reduced by 20%. It's going to hurt Zeus. It's going to hurt Mask. It's going to hurt Soul. This is a fantastic, fantastic item, specifically against Envy's comp. I love the choice coming out from Snoopy. A uh, little worrying, though. Snoopy actually does not have any uh, much of a health base. He has meditation, yeah. though. Bulwark as well to keep him up, and he's going to be relying on there. But uh, if left untouched, Mask could potentially rip through him. Fire Giant going to be circled by Luminosity. You can see they've got the advantage. No point in not doing this. Omega taking on a lot of poke. He'll be fine, though. Yeah, not a big problem for the tanky Bologna, as you can see. 
uh, very important build coming out from Bologna as well. Tons of physical protection specifically. And again, targeting those basic attacks. Midgardian Male and Nimian Lion. So whoever is attacking Omega with basics, they're going to be slowed. Their attack speed's going to be slowed. And they're going to hurt themselves with the Nimian Lion. So a lot of attention to the basic attacks on both sides of the, of the field. Spirit Rope triggered. Kiki in trouble. Luminosity doesn't commit. They don't want to go too deep in the enemy jungle. They're just forcing out as much as they can. I like this decision. It's You don't want to just full-on commit onto this Fire Giant, especially considering even though the Zeus has two physical protection items, it's still Zeus. Mm -hmm. He's still going to do a lot of team damage against anyone who doesn't have any magical protection. So they're just going to try and poke Bounce. out and catch anyone they can, just like Omega. He's going to be forced to Eagle's Rally. They're not going to chase him, but they're going to force his ultimate, get him low. And now they're just looking to poke out as many players as they can. What, were you ta what you were talking about before with Zeus, how he had all these... Uh, defensive items and not enough power base that, that was a problem and he wasn't really able to turn on somebody now that he's finished this now that he's finished the soul reaver that's a different story because he's able to deal percent damage to the player so the lack of power while it's still going to be an issue the percent damage coming out from the soul reaver should definitely help in the regard of he can definitely do what zeus does uh, gonna need to be careful when he uses uh, his damage though doesn't want to poke someone he doesn't want to exactly. obviously snoopy gonna get poked out there but uh, will be able to heal up as he switches uh, stances into the benevolence or and what's the other one called? Fast and powerful. Okay, <laughs> I think that's just the ability name is but <laughs> benevolence or I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, it's what's benevolence, the and then you've got uh, the 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 white side is of movement speed, movement and speed. the red side is power. Rodder's still learning that one. <laughs> After he Ouch. tried to alt a so, very uh, fast Amaterasu. A side note here is we're sitting on the uh, on the game pause screen. You know, it's it, it's worth noting. So uh, there was a big uh, non smite. There was a big uh, Counter Strike tournament where Luminosity actually they went ahead and they won the finals. They went ahead and they won the finals. So maybe as you see this huge lead coming out from Luminosity, maybe a little inner team uh, pride coming out. Want to turn their record around? Uh, they're going to try to. Board. They started off real rough. Uh, Dropping to enemy. They're facing off against Envy, though. Um, have full control of this game right now. 10,000 gold. And what they mm -hmm. need to do is, uh, is abuse this lead. And that's exactly what they're doing. Yep. Not only do they have the item lead, they forced Zeus into, or uh, this is kind of stealth normal build. He has two defensive items. And the, while the Soul Reaver is going to help, that was a very large investment for only 100 power and a proc that's only going to happen every 60 seconds. Yep. When that proc, If that proc is down, that item is not gold efficient. That item is very reliant on your all inning mm -hmm. win you hit that 15% life. Which, at this point in the game, that's really what you're looking for. You're looking for, oh, it's a fire giant fight. We're in it to win it. We got to go heads in, heads in. But you need to be careful, though, because there's a lot of players who will just try and throw a poke. Like, if he's just going to chain lightning someone right. that he sees and he's going to lose that power, he shouldn't even have bought that item. He should have went Book of Thoth or some other power spike item that's going to make it more efficient for the gold he invested into it. Exactly. It's going to demand a it's going to demand a sort of change as far as how this mid laner plays it. He's not the one that's going to go ahead and do the poking. It's going to be the rest of his team, and we'll see how it works as we go ahead and get right on in. And with a Cyclone Spin playing the soul, he can do the poking oh, right now. Kiki. Much more than poke. Kiki spills immediately. The suns come down and Jeff takes the kill. Uh, Snoopy in the back line as well. Going to be fighting off against Mass. Mass wants his target. He does have ult. Snoopy. Uh, oh, no. Where'd Mass actually dies before he can even get his ult off. And it's to the back line. It's Zeus unprotected. Cyclone spin walled off from his team as well. And now Omega surrounded by five. Eagles rally forced out already. And he's going to fall. Luminosity, they pick up three, and they're not done. Not even looking at the fire giant, just looking at the players. Jump's going to be off the mark from Jeff, but the damage from Boosh is perfect. Wall coming out from Andy. That's why we love him. Ouch. Double tap out of nowhere. It didn't look like he was going to get the second hit. I didn't think he had it. it didn't. I still don't think he had it. That didn't hit. That was like the reverse phantom hit. You ever heard of the phantom hits where, like, the audio will go off, oh, but man. it doesn't actually connect. That's like the reverse Phantom Man. I, don't, I still don't think that hit, but somehow Anister coming up with the big double tap at the end. Luminosity wow. uh, extend their lead now to 13,000 gold. They have Fire Giant. They're going to steal the blue buff, and they're going to be piling it down mid lane as still three players dead on the side of Envy. Boosh leading the charge. Very speedy with that Poseidon passive plus the Hastalis. And it's going to be Amaterasu who's taking the tower, and this one falls as quickly as Lumi got there. Love it. Steal the jungle. Don't even allow Envy to get yep. any farm as they come off of death. Uh, no gold theory left to contest. They're going to take the boars. They're going to take the red. More than likely going to take the mid camps if they want. No, no mid camps. They weren't feeling the mid camps. They actually aren't even feeling the boars. But uh, take a look at Golden Hand. I want to see how much these players have before they back. About 1,500 across the board here. 2,000 for the Boosh. How's he going to finish his build? He's going to sell the vamp shroud what's he gonna buy what are you buying boosh what do you need 
All right, more damage. Soul Reaver. Starting it. Could be Book as well, but I think it's going to be Soul Reaver. I, I know Boosh. That's a Soul Reaver. He just wants to... What's Boosh's real name? Boosh. I forgot it too, so I'm not going <laughs> to answer. Uh, so now, uh, Luminosity. Uh, already leading the game before. Uh, going to have some big items finished here. We have Urchin almost finished uh, for Jeff Hinla. Barracuda is going to finish off with a Crusher as he looks to help push down these Phoenixes. Also, uh, going Ninja Tabby instead of Warrior Tabby, which is a DPS increase late game, although you do have to hit your autos for that. Mm -hmm. Also going to be more effective against these towers and Phoenixes that are left standing. Luminosity now grouping up on the left side. They'll be targeting the Phoenix furthest away. I from see you cheating trying to find out Boosh's <laughs> real name. You're going to target the Phoenix furthest away out. from the Fire Giant, so uh, definitely a small, small optimization coming out from Luminosity. These, these relics from Luminosity are, are are just brilliant, right? Two meditations, two shells. Uh, Barracuda, most notably, zero deaths to his name. Mm -hmm. Doesn't invest into the Sanctuary. Instead, wants that team fighting relic in the shell. 15% damage reduction, yep. as well as 45 all protections. It's basically a double shell between these two. And now Luminosity, they're going to be charging forward. Looking for Kiki, and he's already going to fall. So thin is Kiki with all of the damage coming out from Luminosity. And there's Andy. He's going to land on top of the Zeus, who's chased out. Omega follows. And the Zeus ult, not anywhere relevant. Mask gets a kill, but very quickly is taken out. Did you see that chunk of life that Mask lost? Uh, Snoopy doing wow. a lot of damage right now. Little Phoenix is going to be targeted. Zeus ult already down. Same with Omega. There's only the, the Supernova coming out from Cyclone Spin, and he has the damage. He could turn this fight if he can catch anyone unsuspecting, but it doesn't look like it. Right-hand side, Luminosity, they're just going to uh, start charging up this last tower. Just cleaning it, just cleaning out left, mid, right side. Uh, now it's all about what Phoenix they're going to go to as there's only one left. So it's the right side. And Luminosity just barreling down this lane. A little Not bit, a a little bit worrying, all. though. MLC Stealth, uh, he just spawned. It's going to be a four-on-four. Four. Double tap actually going to connect. Stealth will get the gap shield. And now Luminosity instead. They're just going to be targeting out this Phoenix. It's already half-life, and it should go uncontested. Jeff's going to jump in here. Supernova is used. And that's a huge intoxicate coming out from Jeff Hinla. Cyclone Spin going to fall thanks to the backline Snoopy. Uh, Phoenix is going to be held, and Omega, he's going to surge forward, uh, trying to chase down Jeff. The stun is off, and he should be able to get this kill unless Jeff can find the stun, and he is. There's the gap shield in response, but Omega, he has nothing to close this gap. Snoopy is just bothersome to him. Kiki going to be chasing him. Anister to the sky, though. Anister lands down, finds one, teleports out. The turnaround is real as Omega trying to chase down Jeff, and it's going to be stealth oh, caught mask. out. But Mask, Mask has the, has the potential to take everyone out here. But he's a little scared. He saw how easily he was chunked down. Five deaths in total for the jungler. Fire minions, they're going to be sieging out uh, this left and mid lane. Mask. Uh, Luminosity not able to close there. Uh, not the best thing for them, considering that most of their players were full build already. Uh, mm -hmm. Outside of the Bush, who now has finished Soul Reaver, uh, and Jeff Henley, who has finished Urch, and everyone else, though, they add all their items. And what this is right. going to allow is the later this game goes now, Envy is only closing the gap. I mean, we're All here. of Luminosity are level 20. Envy have two players, or two two key players in the Zeus and the Kali, still working towards that, and they're not full build. Right. Uh, they're almost close enough, right? You're, you're one step away from Mask. You need a whole item for, as far as Zeus is concerned, who's going to be able to sell that Vamp Shroud. Uh, Envious is trailing Luminosity by a whopping 18,000 gold, but at this point, it just doesn't matter. I mean, any gold lead from now is just going to be continuously reduced. Uh, you take a look. Honestly, Rod of Tahuti, the last item remaining for Stealth. Kali looking for Stone Cutting Blade. And honestly, if Luminosity in the next five minutes don't try and force their lead, their, the slight one item lead they have, then it's a dead even game. And this massive lead that they've garnered is going to go to waste. Exactly. That's, that's, the, that's the real key for Envy. And the fact that they were able to defend that right Phoenix is so much more than it seems. Fire Giant, though, should be absolutely melted by Luminosity. And Envy nowhere near the target to actually even think about helping out. Instead, they've got to push up the waves. So it's Envy... It's they're got, aware. It's got to be now. It's got to be now. Uh, Soul still hasn't finished. Soul Reaver, no Rod of Tahuti for Zeus. Mass still working on Stone Cutting Blade. If Luminosity can't can't finish the game now, it is a dead even game because then you have to worry about a mm -hmm. Kali full build, a Soul full build, and a Zeus full build.
Right now, Luminosity looking to make the last push of the game. All five members here grouped up on the right-hand side. Does Kiki blink in, or does Lumi go in themselves? Boosh sitting on the backside, waiting to dish out the damage. Huge whirlpool. Here comes Mask. He's going to blink on in, looking for everybody. Boosh finds safety on the outside, and the Suns are raining down. Right now, Envy defending their Phoenix. Just kidding. Luminosity take it out. Barracuda takes out Stealth. They keep on keeping on. That's a huge Kraken, and Envy... Look like they're going to drop game oh, one. Oh, no, Mask, he actually found a kill, and it was his target. He's looking for another, but he's stunned out. Oh, coming out of his ultimate, Barracuda finds that. Three players dead. Soul trying to get away. The title surge is a good note just off the mark. But look at this. So many fire minions raining in. Order Titan at 5,000. Order Titan, it's at 4,000. And I'm pretty sure Luminosity are going to walk away with this one. Envy still have a spot to defend, but the damage over the wall Too is many fire tosses minions. over. The Whirlpool, Luminosity take game one with a huge lead. Does come down to the wire, but Luminosity eventually take it. Uh, really well played from them. Um, I think my favorite part of that game is how intelligently they played in that mid game. Coming into the 15 to 24 minute game, you saw so many times where they just, they were able to take a, a bunch of tier one towers kind of mm -hmm. for free. They they split them out. They forced Envy to make decisions. Yeah. And then they had players who were ahead blocking off their pass. I think my favorite one was that tier two on the left-hand side. Take a look at these post-game stats, though. Uh, seven kills on the side of Envy, uh, 20 on the side of Luminosity. And look at all that damage from Barracuda. You know what really is interesting to see? So despite the fact that Luna, uh, Envy lost, Stealth. look at, yeah, look at the yeah. player damage. Stealth, we lamented the fact that he built those defensive items still able to out-damage the Boosh himself uh, by I'm, almost 10,000. I'm not going to... I think the damage-wise, uh, this was very close. Do we actually have the overall damage between the teams on here? No, we don't. But, I mean, honestly, uh, it, it looks to be pretty close. Uh, Barracuda and Jeff going to be leading Cyclone Spin and um, Tiki so Cheeky, but Stealth and Omega had more damage than their counterparts mm -hmm. as well. Only a slight lead for Anister. So, I mean, we, we... That's the thing, though, is we knew the damage potential of Envy. Oh, yeah. It was so much hard CC... So much hard CC coming out from Luminosity, a beautifully uh, drafted composition. Mm -hmm. And then the Amaterasu for the teamfight auras, they had two meditations, they had two shells, they had so many options for teamfights. They had a sprint as well. Really fantastic, beautiful use of relics coming up from them. Absolute key of the game. We'll be on hold. Let's take a look at first blood. Uh, this was uh, Mast, actually. Uh, able to successfully pick up Jeff Hinla, and this was uh, a really Wolf. nice. This 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 was stealth for me. Obviously, it was the turnaround. Um, Luminosity looking to pick off Kiki so cheeky there. They committed a lot. Immediately, we see stealth uh, pop the ultimate on top of everyone and and kind of scare everyone away. And even though uh, Luminosity could have dove and, and definitely finished them for first blood, they would have risked getting turned on themselves and losing that gold through. It's kind of like, all yeah. right, Jeff, I know the call was for you to go in, but see ya later. <laughs> You're sacked. Absolute key of the game for me personally, Snoopy's individual performance. Week one, I, you know, unfortunately for Snoopy, was an issue. Went right to the drawing board, and it's no surprise. Snoopy's a consummate professional. He understands what, what it takes. Grinding, 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 and the hard work paid off. Snoopy was a huge part of this win for Luminosity. Uh, we saw it twice there, actually, uh, the timing of the Heavenly reflection uh, as soon as the ults finished yep. coming out from from Kali very important uh, we see that a lot and how important that timing is most notably with Sir Ket when you play against Kali mm -hmm. you want to make sure to alter uh, about two seconds into the Kali ult to where right. uh, she's not going to get healing even if she finds her target and guaranteed that the the last breath will finish her off if she can't uh, if she gets poked down to kind of that range. Even against the non Kali targets, we saw that mirror saved at a perfect time. When the dash comes out, they're silenced for just a moment, so they can't escape. And immediately, it was it was 100% planned. Dash bang from the from the mirror. So excellent to see that turnaround from Snoopy. But he wasn't the only one performing at a high level. Barracuda, uh, the old old hunter, definitely came He's through with the clutch. <laughs> Here's a great play that he made towards the end of the game. Fancy bounce went ahead and got a kill for him as well. So My favorite bounce was the one you mentioned. Which one? It was the soul one. Mm -hmm. uh, deep in Envy's own jungle, you actually saw uh, oh, the, yeah. the corporeal form uh, still activated onto uh, soul, and he's like, I know this timing. He yeah. pops it while it's still activated, bounces the four mans, takes the damage, stunned. Oh, yeah. No, no fall. It was kind of like I, that was just kind of a statement. Yeah, that's that was the, a statement bounce. That's the type. That's the type of stuff that we watch the SPL for. I mean, like. Barracuda is one of very few people that could that could really pull that off and understand the timing of those items. We'll see if.